Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Erin and today is Friday which means it is book review Friday once again. Today we have we have a doozy of a book to talk about okay. I I don't know why I haven't heard about this book before. I swear I have never heard about this book and then just recently I heard people talking about it and I've only heard a handful of people talking about this book and after reading it, I do not understand why more people aren't talking about it. I don't know if I'm just late to the party. Could totally be that. Sometimes I just don't hear about books until way later. So maybe this book was really talked about a few years ago and I just wasn't in the know. But I'm upset that more people aren't talking about this. I think this book needs to be talked about because... It's insane, okay? This is an insane book. I don't know why I'm keeping you guys in suspense when you can clearly see what book we're talking about from the title of the video. We are talking about Confessions by Kane Minato. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I I looked up pronunciations and everyone says it differently. Uh, so I'm so sorry if that is incorrect. <laughs> I have so many words and so little words to say about this book because one I don't know how to even go about talking about this book because my head is just whirling around inside just you know because of what I read <laughs> but also I have so much to say about this book because of the thoughts whirling inside my head you know let's talk about the cover it's very simple but I think it matches the plot perfectly. You got the one chair in the center with all the students desk chairs in a circle around it. Um, very telling. Very, yeah, it just, it makes a lot of sense. Now is the time that I would go into my own synopsis. I try to uh, describe the book in my own words. However, this book, I honestly just don't think I can do any better than the back of the book. I'm going to read you what the back of the book says. I'm gonna leave it at that. It's the synopsis you can find probably on Goodreads, on the internet. I know I'm boring, but honestly, I <laughs> I just don't think I can do any better. So I'm gonna read you what the back says. After calling off her engagement in the wake of a tragic revelation, Yuko Moriguchi had nothing to live for except her only child, four-year-old Manami. Now following an accident on the grounds of the middle school where she teaches, Yuko has given up and tendered her resignation. But first she has one last lecture to deliver. She tells a story that upends everything her students ever thought they knew about two of their peers and sets in motion a manacle plot for revenge. That's, that's all you need to know. Okay, I, that's literally the best explanation for this plot that I can give you without giving so, so, so much away. If I look at my notes, the plot, the area where I talk about the plot, all I said is a teacher seeks revenge on two of her students who were involved in the death of her four-year-old daughter. That's literally what I wrote. <laughs> because I just don't want to give too much information, honestly. The less you know, I think the more exciting this book is because I was just... I had no idea, you know? So let's get into my thoughts because that's all I'm gonna talk about for the plot. That's all I'm gonna give you guys. I'm sorry, but no, I not, there's no way. So like I said, I went into this book not knowing really anything. I knew the bare minimum of this plot. I knew it was gonna be a revenge story, which I do love revenge stories. So I was very excited because I, I don't know, it just sounded like something that I was going to enjoy and the reviews that I did see sounded really good and from the people I did talk to before starting it, uh, they said it was really, really good. So I, I had high expectations but I also had no expectations because I knew so little about this book that I didn't know what to expect. At first when I started this book, I really didn't think I was going to like it. The writing style is very interesting and I thought I was gonna have a really hard time getting into the flow of it and kind of not understanding it but just kind of learning to go with it and just kind of uh, 
get it, I guess. It just felt like I wasn't going to be able to do that, which worried me because when I start a book and the first chapter makes me feel that way, I was like, oh no. I'm gonna have to DNF this book. I'm not gonna be able to get into it. I'm gonna try to explain to you what the writing style is like and it's I, I don't know if this is gonna make sense because I really don't know how to explain it. I'm not good at describing writing styles. It kind of feels like diary entries or internal dialogue even when the words are being spoken out loud in the present time. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's just what it felt like to me. The dialogue is just very weird and I don't I don't know. The way it's written is just very strange and a lot of the time in the chapters it is a letter or a, you know, diary entry that is explaining things so I guess it makes sense but even uh, some of the chapters where it's happening in the moment it feels like it's not happening in that moment, I guess. I don't know if that makes any sense. I hope it makes sense. I, I don't know. So every chapter is told from the first person, however every chapter is an alternating perspective, which I usually don't like alternating chapters like that. I don't like switching between characters, at least that frequently. I think it can become really confusing and jarring and disorienting, however, I think for this book it works incredibly well. It makes so much sense. I don't think it could have been written a different way. I honestly think it makes so much sense to have it written in this way and so it didn't actually bother me as much as I thought it was going to. I was so surprised how fast this book went because when you think of a revenge story, I just assume it's going to be a little bit drawn out. It's going to take a bit for things to start getting heated, things to start moving. I thought we were going to be left in suspense a lot longer than we were. However, in the first chapter, you find out so much. And the end of that first chapter, I was just like, oh, this is this is how it's gonna go. Okay, whoa. And I was just knocked off my feet. I was so flabbergasted by that first chapter. I was so surprised. I really didn't expect this book to be the way it was, but holy guacamole, it surprised the absolute crap out of me. So like I said, I really enjoyed each chapter even though it was a different perspective. I thought each chapter was engaging and interesting in its own way. Hearing from the different characters was actually so fascinating and it added to the story so much. I feel like every chapter was so extremely necessary to tell a story that was being told and so I actually was super surprised that I enjoyed each perspective because usually that does not happen. That does not happen with me. Usually I have at least one to two perspectives that I cannot stand, but I actually liked every single one and I thought they were all interesting and I just think they added so much to the story. I was left mouth open, jaw hitting the floor after every single chapter. There was a twist every single chapter and I really didn't expect any of this. I had no idea that this book was going to be the way it was. I'm not disappointed in the slightest. I loved every second of this book, but I have I don't think I've ever had a book where every chapter time after time, it left me feeling this way. I really thought after the first few chapters, I had an inkling of where the story was going and what was gonna happen and, you know, whatever. Nope. Mm-mm. Nope. No. Um, no. Uh, each chapter is a surprise. Each chapter just blew me away because I, I I would think that I I knew what was happening or I knew the characters or I knew what was what and then surprise no you don't 
No, you don't. And, um, yeah, I, I, th I think that was a first for me. I think that was a first for me. This book left me just, you know, like, what do you call it? Like a, a, a fish out of water. That's what I looked like. I was like, ooh, ooh, like that, you know? That's, that's how this book left me after every single chapter. I also love the title Confessions. It is so appropriate because every chapter is really just that. It's a confession from each perspective and <laughs> oh my god it oh my gosh I, I like I said each chapter is just so crazy. It just gets crazier and crazier and crazier and I I you know I, that's all I can say. I, literally, I have no words to talk about this book. Like, I am, I'm struggling to, <laughs> to talk about it because I have no words that explain everything that happened. Do you know what I'm saying? Every single thing from the characters to the plot is so interesting and unique. This is such a different kind of revenge story, in my opinion. It is not like most revenge stories. It's not told like most revenge stories. It does not go the way most revenge stories go, in my opinion. I think it totally throws you for a loop. When when I hear revenge, I have a, an ideal story that pops into my head. I'm like, okay, this is probably how it's gonna go. Yeah, this was, it was not that. It was so different and I am so impressed by how well done this book is and how amazing the plot is and how it left me feeling. Like honestly, I did not expect this from this book. I really just didn't. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be a bad book. I, I really didn't think it was going to be a bad book, but I didn't think it was going to be this good. Like, I didn't think it was gonna be- I didn't think it was gonna make me feel this way. I really- I really didn't. I also think this book makes you think a lot. And it had me thinking about each character, each character's motives, and who I really thought was the bad guy. Now, I do think every character was messed up in their own way. I think each character could be labeled bad and for different reasons. However, from my personal opinion, I do think that some of the characters are worse than others, obviously, um, because just off of my own thoughts and my personal beliefs, I think there could be a lot of conversation on which character is really at fault here, and I find that so fascinating when a book can make you think that hard. Um, but like, not in the sense of you have to think because it's not really telling you anything. I think it's more just a personal opinion and a personal choice to think about this story, uh, which I think is interesting. I, I don't know. I, I would, I would love to know everyone's opinions on this book because I just think it would be a very interesting book to have a conversation about. <laughs> this book made me feel so many different feelings at certain times. I was very conflicted a lot of the time because I would go from feeling very apathetic to very empathetic and I think that's a very interesting way to tell a story. I think that makes a very good writer to be able to change my emotions so frequently throughout a story. Because of the different perspectives, I just had so many different emotions and I would feel one way and then I would get new information and I'd be like, well, never mind, hold up, <laughs> wait a second, I don't feel like that anymore. And then it could switch again and I just, I think that's a really good sign of a amazing author. I think 
I think that's a very good sign of an amazing author. There are so many different factors that play a part to the larger picture of this story, which is why I think so many people would have such different reactions to the characters and the story of this book, which is why I'm so interested in hearing other people's opinions because I know how I feel. I know what I think about the characters. I know what I feel about what happened. I know, uh, I know what I think and what I believe, but I just know that other people aren't going to feel that way and that is so interesting to me. We all read the same book and I'm sure we would have such varying opinions and that fascinates me so much. And I, I mean, that happens with every book, but I just feel like this one in particular, uh, man, you could have like hour long discussions about this book because it's just that insane and there's that much to talk about. The ending. <laughs> I don't know how to explain the ending. Um, I guess the best word I could describe it as is insane. When I finished it, I actually laughed out loud because I was just so, <laughs> I was so shocked. I mean, I knew it was going to end some kind of way, okay? But when I read that last paragraph, I was just, <laughs> I was left speechless. I literally laughed and then had to tell my partner what happened because I was keeping him up to date with the book because he said it sounded really good and so I was telling him about it. And when I read him the ending, he was like, what? And I was like, no, I know. I, no, I know, I know. It's, <laughs> there's, there's literally no words to describe how this ends. I loved the ending. I was not disappointed by it. It was a great ending, fantastic ending that I did not see coming in the slightest, which I appreciate so much. But wow, that ending definitely could be one of my favorite endings of all time because it was so mind-blowing. The whole book is mind-blowing, honestly. This book is just mind-blowing in general. When you have a mind-blowing book all the way to the very end that ends with a mind-blowing ending. I, what am I supposed to say? Like, how am I supposed to explain to you how good this book is? Like, I don't know. I don't know how to use my words, okay? Like, I don't know how. I love this book. Can you tell? I feel like it's very obvious that I love this book. I will 1000% be checking out more from this author. I absolutely loved this so much. I know that there is apparently a movie based off this book which I am very interested to watch because <laughs> I would love to see how it's done. I think this would be a perfect movie. I honestly think this would be great to watch and so I 1000% will be checking out the movie. Um, I hope it's just as good as the book because this book was just outstanding. And like I said, I will be reading more by this author because I was just so impressed. That's going to end my review on Confessions by Kane Minato. Um, <laughs> I feel like this video is so all over the place. And it's just because I don't know how to tell you what this book is like. I really don't know how to tell you what this book is like. <laughs> so much to this book. If you have read this book, please let me know in the comments down below. I want to talk to you about it because I feel like I need to talk to someone about it who's read this. I just need to know your thoughts and your opinions because I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy not talking about it. This will for sure be a book that I think about constantly and I'm so sad that more people are not talking about it. Maybe I'm just late. I don't know, but I feel like more people should be talking about this book. It's so, 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 so good. I, I'm obsessed, okay? I, I'm in love, okay? I'm in love with it. Um, it's fantastic, and I can't recommend it enough. I, 
I think everyone should read it. <laughs> you might not like it, but I think you should read it. Okay, my friends, that's gonna do it for a book review Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It lets me know what kind of content you enjoy from me. That way I can keep providing you with that kind of content. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We can become friends, talk about books, movies, makeup, horror, all kinds of things. I do a lot on this channel, so hopefully there's something for everyone. And with that being said, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and have an even more wonderful weekend, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!